Peanut. Welcome to the Global Mansion University. I am your host, Amir Rashid. On today's episode, I would like to cite science. Let's get started. The Wonderful World of Plants Written by Ron Friedel Introduction A family is going out for dinner. The kids put on clean clothes. They go to the restaurant. Mom parks the car under a tree. Inside, everyone sits at a wooden table. Their dinner includes potatoes and fresh vegetables. Dad takes the leftovers home in a cardboard box. Think about the clothes, tree, table, food, and box. What do they have in common? They all come from plants. You see plants almost everywhere. You also use plants in many ways. In this book, you will learn about plants and their parts. You will learn what plants need in order to live. You will find out how plants get food and how seeds grow. You will also learn why animals and plants need each other so much. The Parts of a Plant Most plants have the same parts. They have roots, stems, and leaves. Each part helps the plant get what it needs to live. Roots usually grow down into the soil. Roots hold most plants in place. They help a plant stand tall. Roots also store water and food for the plant. Roots take in water and minerals from the soil. Plants need minerals to grow and be healthy. The stem holds up the leaves so they can get sunlight. The stem carries water and minerals from the roots to all parts of the plant. Stems can also store water and food. Do you know? Tree trunks are stems. The vines of strawberry and pumpkin plants are stems too. Leaves grow above the ground where there is light. They need light to make food for the plant. Leaves are usually flat. The flat shape helps them catch sunlight. Try this. Look carefully at a leaf. Are the edges smooth, wavy, or shaped like a saw? Is the tip pointy or round? Does it feel smooth, rough, or bumpy? Does it feel sticky, hairy, or waxy? How Plants Make Food Plants need food in order to grow. But plants do not eat. Plants make their own food. This process is called photosynthesis. Plants need three things for photosynthesis to happen. They need water, air, and light. Leaves take in air through tiny holes. Air has a gas called carbon dioxide in it. The sun's light helps mix carbon dioxide with water to make a kind of sugar. Plants use the sugar to grow. They store extra sugar in their roots, stems, and leaves. As plants make food, they also make a gas called oxygen. Plants give off oxygen through their leaves. All animals need this oxygen to live and breathe. Plants also give off water vapor through their leaves. Water vapor is water in the form of a gas. Photosynthesis 1. Roots take in water from the soil. 2. Leaves take in carbon dioxide. Traveling Seeds Focus Question how does the structure of seeds help plants survive? 
Seeds What do corn kernels, peas, and dandelion puffs all have in common? They are all seeds. A seed is the part of a plant that can grow into a new plant. Each seed has a strong outer shell called the seed coat. Inside the seed is a tiny plant or embryo. The embryo grows into a new plant. The seed also contains food for the tiny plant. This food gives the growing plant energy until it can make its own food. Before they can grow, seeds need to find the perfect place. Seeds can grow only in places with water, air, light, and space. Animals move by using their legs, wings, or flippers. How do seeds find the perfect place to grow? The way a seed moves depends on its size, shape, and the habitat where it grows. Gravity Many seeds move by falling to the ground. Gravity causes them to move. Think about an apple. The fruit gets heavy and falls off the tree. The fruit may roll a little, but it stays close to the tree. Inside the fruit are the seeds. The fruit may rot and release seeds. Softer fruits may break open when they fall. Eventually, the seeds get buried in the soil. There they can sprout into new plants. Wind Some seeds move farther away from their parents. This way, new plants do not have to compete with their parents for water, sunlight, and space. The wind can blow seeds far away. Seeds that move by wind have special parts to help them lift up and blow away. For example, dandelion seeds are very small and light with a puff of fluff on top. This makes it easy for them to fly in the wind. Think about it. Why do you think a dandelion produces so many seeds? If you have ever watched an old western movie, you probably saw tumbleweeds rolling down a dusty street. Tumbleweeds are dried up plants that still have seeds. As the tumbleweeds roll, seeds break off and land in new places. Tumbleweeds can spread their seeds very far. Maple seeds also move in the wind. These seeds are sometimes called whirlybirds or helicopter seeds. They have thin wings that help them spin and fly in the wind. Math moment! Winged seeds can travel 200 miles in the wind, while dandelion seeds can travel 500 miles. How much farther can the dandelion seeds travel? Animals Have you ever seen a bird with a berry or a squirrel with a nut? If so, you know another way that seeds move. Animals carry them. Animals carry seeds to new places. Insects move seeds only short distances, but birds can carry seeds far away. Ants that move seeds use them for food. They eat the seed coat and leave the embryo to grow. Some animals, such as squirrels and birds, bury seeds in the ground to eat later. This keeps them from being eaten by other animals. Most of the seeds do get eaten, but some of the seeds grow into new plants. Wowzer! Scientists found 32,000-year-old seeds in an old animal burrow. Amazingly, the scientists were still able to grow the seeds. Animals can move seeds in other ways. They eat fruits filled with seeds and move to a different place. The seeds go through the animal's digestive system. Then they are dropped as waste. The seeds grow where they are dropped. Other seeds have special parts such as hooks, pins, and barbs. These parts help the seed attach to an animal's fur or feathers. 
The animal carries the seed until it falls off. Some seeds even have a layer of slime. It makes the seeds sticky, so they stay on the animal for a long time. Water Water lilies are plants that grow in water. They make fruit that drops to the bottom. Once there, the seeds inside grow. Mangroves also grow in and near the water. If the water is deep, the seeds may land in the water and be carried to another place. You may be surprised to know that coconuts are seeds. If these trees are growing near the ocean, they're huge seeds. Animals can move seeds in other ways. They eat fruits filled with with seeds and move to a different place. The seeds go through the animal's digestive system. Then they are dropped as waste. The seeds grow where they are dropped. Other seeds have special parts such as hooks, pins, and barbs. These parts help the seed attach to an animal's fur or feathers. The animal carries the seed until it falls off. Some seeds even have a layer of slime. It makes the seeds sticky, so they stay on the animal for a long time. Water Animals can move seeds in other ways. They eat fruits filled with seeds and move to a different place. The seeds go through the animal's digestive system. Then they are dropped as waste. The seeds grow where they are dropped. Other seeds have special parts such as hooks, pins, and barbs. These parts help the seed attach to an animal's fur or feathers. The animal carries the seed until it falls off. Some seeds even have a layer of...